Here it goes. What is Mendeleev? How you t have you tell Dungalev? Haldo, that's easy. Oh crap, you're right. Here, take this stupid trog shield. Oh hey, we have a trog shield. Let's take a look at it. Behold the trog shield! No, seriously, behold it. There's no way Trogdor's fire breath can penetrate this thing. Hold, peasant. You must answer the second dreaded Trog trivia question. Listen careful now. Which of these letters is the letter C? The answer is B, which is letter C. That's right. Oh, this sucks. Guess I have to give you this Trog helmet. Dang. Trog helmet is not screwing around. It's a serious helmet. It also protects against harmful UV rays. Think you're pretty hot stuff, eh? Let's see you answer the deadly and pretty impossible third trog trivia question. Riddle me this. Which way does the river that runs through peasantry flow? Hmm. I actually believe that it flows from the northeast to the southwest. So answer C. Uh-oh, you got it right. Trogdor's gonna kill me. Okay, you can have the trog sword. Just promise me not to kill any trogdors with it, okay? You just stare blankly at the keeper. Okay, fine. You can have the dumb thing anyways. Trogdor's through the beaded curtain over there. The fabled trog sword is yours. You now have the means to strike down Trogdor. Good luck, peasant. Let's look at our shiny sword. The trog sword is for real. Hands down, the coolest item in this whole game. You can't wait to lop off that beefy arm of Trogdor's with this guy. Well, let's save it. Go get Trogdor. Through the beaded curtain! The beaded curtain slams shut behind you. There's no turning back now. Look. You're in a giant cavern which houses a giant dragon. You didn't shrink or anything. Look, dragon. Holy crap! Trogdor's way bigger in person than looks in most tapestries you've seen. All of a sudden, losing your cottage doesn't seem so bad anymore. Look, Trogdor? Yeah, same thing. Talk, Trogdor. You yell some choice expletives at Trogdor, but he doesn't wake up. There's a cool echo, though. Let's take him out while he's sleeping. You sword! This is it. You hurl the Trog sword with all your might at the sleeping Burninator. Like something out of Sleeping Beauty. Yeah! Uh, that didn't seem to do anything. Now you've done it. Trogdor is awake. The Trog Sword doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. Your legs lock in fear. Your eyes glaze over and you wish for some deep peasant adult undergarments. But you think you hear Trogdor whimpering. Aw oh, crap, that's you whimpering. At least your voice still works, I guess. Talk, Trogdor. You scream that your name is rather dashing, and that Trogdor burninated your cottage, and you're here for revenge. sure was nice of him. Uh-oh. Ah! Congratulations! You've won! No one can kill Trogdor, but you came closer than anybody ever. Way to go! Peasant's Quest, written by Matt, Jonathan, and Mike. Programmed by Jonathan. Graphics by Mike and Matt. Quality assurance types, Neil Stamper, Don Chapman, and John Radel. Nice work on winning and everything. 
The end. Yeah, they did make a statue of Rather Dashing with his scalding leg t-shirt. Well, that was Peasant's Quest. I hope you all enjoyed it. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It's a great little game available on HomestarRunner.com, which is an excellent website with lots of uh, fun games and videos and other uh, silly humor. So thanks to the uh, game designers for uh, coming up with this and distributing it for free. And uh, thanks for everyone who watches this. I hope you uh, had as much fun as I did, if not more. And uh, that sounds good. All right, uh, our next Lex Play will be uh, the Age of Kings, The Conquerors, a single-player campaign. We'll actually be playing the Saracens, waging jihad against the invading Crusaders. So that should be interesting and fun. Anyway, uh, it was good playing. I hope you enjoyed it, and I guess I'll see you all later. Okay, bye-bye.